Um, my name is Colette Cronin and I'm the operations manager at Project Just Because. Um, it is a great organization. We um, fill general request needs as well as uh, backpacks, holiday, and lots of other programs throughout the year. I founded it 17 years ago in my basement. I'm Cheryl Ann Lambert Walsh and we started by planting a little seed and everyone's watering the garden of helping families in need. Um, and years ago, we also took over the Hopkinton Food Pantry. So we do year-round programs, just basic needs to help people. Project Just Because hosted their fifth annual Christmas in July fundraiser. This year, the event was hosted at the Faith Community Church, and a big turnout was on hand to help the charity give back to the community. Yeah, this is our fifth year doing it, and it is a fundraiser in July with a Christmas theme because in Christmas time, holiday time, we do 15,000 children and help them. But in order to continue um, being able to get the needs met, we try very hard to do fundraising in the summer when a lot of people um, don't think as much about families in need because there's other things going on and it's summer and fun and we help the families every day. There were many great auctions and raffles as well as plenty of activities for all ages. We have so much going on here tonight. We have live auction items, silent auction items. We have mystery packages wrapped up like Christmas presents. Um, we have pictures with Santa. Um, so all the money is to uh, help us to help people in need. The event featured a performance by the Treblemakers Chorus, which despite the 90 degree weather outside, helped get the crowd in the Christmas spirit. The festive event continues to be one of the biggest events for Project Just Because and their efforts to help those in need throughout the community. Months and months of planning, so um, we had a committee um, that helped out and we all came together to get the items and decorate and make everything come together for a nice evening. pleased. Um, people are very kind. They just come and everything's donated tonight so any proceeds go directly to help families. Okay, we rely on volunteers so we have a lot of people coming in to help us out um, and then at holiday time is a great time for companies to do drives for us for warm blankets, uh, gifts for kids, um, hats and mittens, things like that so that we can help out uh, thousands and thousands of kids at the holiday time.